not many people get the opportunity to experience the power of a tank up close. The senior leadership of the Idaho National Guard did just that Thursday at the Orchard Combat Training Center. Adjutant General of the Idaho National Guard, Major General Gary Saylor, and other key leaders spent the day learning the capabilities of the latest in armored weaponry and what it takes to operate it. Well, this event's important to us and the, uh, the, the Adjutant General, so we get a feel for what the systems are, how they operate, and the complexity that our soldiers are dealing with when they come out to train out here at the Orchard Combat Training Center. Officers and senior enlisted took turns examining and firing the new M1A2 Abrams System Enhancement Package Version 2 tank and the new M2 M3 Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The 116th Cavalry Brigade Combat Team received several of these new weapons systems earlier this summer, making it the first fully modernized guard unit in the country. The 116th has a, a long history of doing very well with whatever mission they're given, whether it's new equipment training, which we're going through now, or whether it's a combat mission like we have done the, during the, the, the two deployments for the 116th. The leadership of the Idaho National Guard walked away from the range with a better understanding of the weapons at their command and the troops that operate them. Reporting from the Orchard Combat Training Center, I'm Army Private First Class, Christian DuPlessis.